What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that I'm doing a sneaker giveaway. If you do want to enter, all you got to do is subscribe to this channel and subscribe to my other channel as well, which I will leave a link to down in the description below. And if you want to know what five sneakers I'm giving away, you can go ahead and find the video of the giveaway down in the description below. Or if you don't care, all you got to do is subscribe to both channels. Anyways, today's officially the day of sneaker con for Lauderdale. It is February 11th. Literally only 10 minutes in and I'm making this video. And as you guys saw in yesterday's video, I did show you guys the video of me doing the custom, but it was only a time lapse. And in the end, I did say I will reveal the shoe today. So that's exactly what I'm here to do. So let's get to it. First, let's start off with the left shoe, since it is the one I've been posting on Snapchat, since I was showing you guys the process through there, which kind of was like, I was trying to keep it a surprise, but I was like, whatever. Might as well just show you guys through Snapchat. But here's a first look on YouTube for everybody to see. This shoe was inspired by YouTube, hence the three colorways that I showed you guys before which were red, black, and white. And since it is a YouTube custom, I decided I'd throw like a little bit of meat in there, like of this channel in there. As you guys can see, I did encage the Adidas NMD XR1, and I basically kinda mixed it with a human race, except without a cage. And then I painted the bricks red. I did wanna paint one of them black, but I wasn't too sure what how it looks, so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna paint them all red. And then I painted the heel tab red, which is probably one of the dopest things, in my opinion. Because you don't see many heel tabs with a black writing. And then the red pull tab, which is pretty sick. So I did put the U on the left shoe, and I did it in their font. And then here on this little lace dubray, which is supposedly what they're called, it says curs. But you'll see why in a second, why it only says curs. And since I did take the cage out, I did want to keep the laces on so I can actually put these little gold lace tips on and also the lace dubrays. So I decided to make holes in the prime knit, which you can't really see. It kind of just looks like the laces go through the prime knit. And let me tell you guys, this was not an easy custom. As you can see right here on this brick, I did kind of make a slit in it. You can see it right there. I did kind of like go too far when I was cutting the cage and then it went to the brick and then lift it up as I use the heat gun, which did suck a lot. But in the end, I was like, whatever. This is literally my first custom, and I feel like I did a great job on it for being my first custom. I did not expect this sneaker to turn out the way it did because I think it looks actually beautiful. I mean, the paint could be better on the bricks and stuff, and maybe even right here, but I did it all with paint, and I didn't use an airbrush, which is usually makes it look smoother in my opinion. Well, that's just a whole nother level of painting. Moving on to the right shoe, everything is identical. And as you can see again, I messed up on the same brick. I made another slit when I was cutting the cage. You can see it right there. Like I said, this is not an easy custom, guys. So if you guys are thinking about it, I'm letting you guys know. Honestly, it's not easy at all. Like, it looks easy when people cut the cage on camera and stuff, but no. This one did have some red run off on here, and so I had to paint the boost white on around it. And you can't really tell, so I guess I did a good job there. It did bleed up a little bit to the uppers, which is really hard to like prevent because to get tape to even stick to the upper is hard alone. And sometimes when you put too much paint, it does bleed through. I just feel like something's missing to this shoe. I don't know what it is, but if you guys can tell me what it is, let me know in the comments. I feel like I can paint something black on here, or maybe it needs rope laces, some black rope laces, red rope laces white rope laces, I don't know, anything, whatever you guys can think of. And if I think your comment's good, then I just might add it onto the sneaker. But as of now, I'm pretty satisfied with what I have here. If you wanna know how to do this custom, let me know in the comments below, and I will do a voiceover on the time-lapse video because that's the only videos I have of me actually working on the shoe. And I don't mind teaching you guys how to do a custom, even though, I mean, I'm not the best, but every little thing helps. Plus, I'm pretty sure you've never seen something like this, somebody actually paint words or design on the toe of the shoe, or actually uncage it and then make holes in the prime knit of an NMD because I was looking at that. I was trying to see how to do it and nobody had it. So I was like, whatever, free ball it. Just made holes and then it worked out pretty good. Anyways, I'm sorry if I do sound tired. It's just a little late out here and I need to get to sleep because sneaker con is in exactly 12 hours from now. But I have to get there early to set up my vendor table, which I will be selling shirts, shoes, and doing a giveaway. I forgot to mention I will be doing an on-feed of this shoe on another video. 
So stay tuned for that as well. Anyways, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We did hit 4,000 subscribers today. We Unfortunately, we weren't able to hit 5,000, but that's still pretty good because within a month, we've gotten 1,500 subscribers, which is a ridiculous amount for a channel this size. So I do appreciate that a lot, guys. Thank you guys so much. If it wasn't for you guys, then I most likely probably wouldn't be in front of this camera. So keep leaving comments on the videos, not only just to be fan of the day, but it also makes me want to make videos like when i get you guys feedback it's like okay i can improve in this aspect and i know what you guys want to watch but before i go i do want to give a shout out to the fan of the day and today's fan of the day is jd inventions anyways make sure you stay woke arch sign out peace